This is Gemara and Kedusha in the Daf Lamid Hey, and we pick it up on the bottom of actually Lamid Hey Amid Aleph. The previous Gemara went all the way into Amid Aleph. We took it all the way down, two thirds of the way down the Amid at the two dots. For those that inquired, feel free to reach out to partner on sponsoring the Daf. And we pick it up from the two dots, V'chol Mitzvah Is Loisase. We just finished a lengthy discussion figuring out the source, the Makar, for Mitzas Asei Shazman Garama, women are Peturais, Mitzas Asei Shaloy Azman Garama, women are Chayavais, the incredible Siat de Shemaya of learning about the Mitzvah of Shaifer, which was relevant to every woman in Kalal Yisrael on the day of the Daf. Well, actually, not, that was Shabbos' Daf, which, uh, anyways, we were Potter. But, we pick it up, when it comes to negative commandments, women, of course, are chayavos. Says the Gemara, what is the source? Says the Pasuk, A man or a woman that does any sin, in this Pasuk, the Pasuk equates, as the first two words, three words of the Pasuk are, Ish o Isha, Ish v'akasov, Isha le'ish, l'chol o'inshin Shabbat When it comes to o'inshin, when it comes to punishments, when it comes to mitzvahis, lo isa says, all the do not do's, there is no difference between men and women. Three Rav Lazar Tana and the Yeshiva Rav Lazar they learned Amar Kra says the Taira Ish Tosim of Nehem a man you should place in front of him and from here Rav Lazar learned Hishva Akos of Isha Le Ish Bechol Dinim She Bat Taira so source number two the Yeshiva Rav Yishmael learned it from Isha Isha Ochol Einshim the Yeshiva Rav Lazar learned it from Asher Tosim of Nehem Ol Dinim. Tana, third source, Amar Kra, Vehemis Ish O Isha. She put the death of man or a woman, and here as well, Hishva Akos of Isha Le Ish, Lechol Misois Shabbat Torah. So three sources: one for Einshim punishments, one for Dinim, and number three for Misois. And of course, any time that we have. Multiple sources. The Gemara wonders, why do we need all the sources? Explains the Gemara, Tzricha, we need all three sources. Di Ashmin on four lines from the bottom, Lamed Hei Amed Alef. If I would have said, Ach Kamaisa, just the first passing about Ein Shem, I would have thought, Mishom Kapara, because when it comes to Kapara, why? What does a punishment do? A punishment is not just Hashem slapping you. It gives you a kapara. So I would have thought, Chas Rachman Allah. The Torah has Rachmanos. The Torah has pity on a woman to particularly give her the Einish so that she gets the kapara. Avol dinim. But when it comes to dinim, which dinim refers to monetary dinim, Amai would have thought perhaps... Ish devar maso mata in a man that deals with monetary entities, he is included. Isha, when it comes to a woman, loy who she's not included in monetary discussions in general. Therefore, maybe she is not included. And therefore, maybe all the mitzvahs loisa say that are monetary related, all the dinim, the whole chayshin mishpat, even though it's a mitzvah loisa say it's a negative commandment. Maybe a woman is not included. Therefore, we had to say the first two sources. And if I would have only said this one, if I would have only said the Pasuk of Dine Mishum Nechi I would have thought, it's because it's her life. What does it mean, it's her life? Rashi over here, towards the very end of the Amr, Rashi explains, Dalesa Bechlal Dinim, Ein lo Why? Why would she have no life? Explains Rashi, because I called Geisel and Lisa. Everyone would steal from her. She would steal from others. I called the deal and amen, and everyone would stay away from her. Meaning, aside for the regular halacha of following the will of God, there's a second component. It's, it ensures a society, it ensures law and order. And if 
there was no laws for a woman when it came to monetary disputes. There would be no life in the public realm for a woman. So says the Gemara, maybe that's the reason why she is included. Avol kaifer, but kaifer, which is the punishment when a shar hamuad kills a person, which was the pasuk of Hamis, Esha Isha, the third pasuk, Chol Misa is Sheba Atayra, Ema, with regard to that source, the third source, I would have thought as we turn over to Lamed Hey Amid Beis, Ish, Dvar Mitzvah in, Isha, when it comes to a woman, Lahi, a, woman, a man who's Dvar Mitzvah, he is included, but a woman not. And if I would have just said this third Pasik, the Pasik of Kaifer, the Pasik of the monetary payment to exonerate one's life if a shar, if their ox gores. I would have thought, because the Maisa, so and lost their life. So the animal gored, the animal killed someone, and therefore you have the Tashlumim of Kaifer, you have to pay the monetary payment to exonerate oneself. So I would have thought that specifically a woman is included. Chas Rachman Allah. Torah has mercy. Wants her to get that level of kapara. Avil Hanach Tarti. But the first two, Eimalai, says the Gemara. Therefore, Sricha. That is why we need all three sources teaching that a woman is included in all mitzvahs, loisa se einshim dinim and misois. Chutz, except for the big. Three exceptions. Chutz, what mitzvah loisa say? Or a woman not included? Mi bal takif u bal tashchis. Cutting off the payas, destroying the corners of one's head. Says the Gemara. And the third one becoming tummy. Bish lama bal tatame lemesim. With regard to Allah of a woman becoming tame, why is she excluded? Why is she allowed? Dechsev, as the Pasik says. Introducing the halachis of Tmei Meis of a Kayin. It says, teach the Kayanim the sons of Haroin. And the obvious implication, six lines down, Lamed Heyam and Beis, B'nei Aroin, V'loi B'nei Saroin. That is a specific halacha to the male Kayanim and not the B'nei Saroin. Ella, so that's a simple source why a woman Kayin, a Tbas Kayin, is allowed to become Tamei. Ella Baltaki Vabaltashis Mina Lan. Where do we know that a woman is not included in these halachas of removing the payis and destroying the hairs of the head? Tirsiv says the Tyra Laisa Kifu Basra Shechem Shinat um to, you should not cut off the corners of the head. And it should not destroy as peas zikanecha the corners of your beard. From here we learn out call any person sheyeshna bashchasa that is included in hashchasa in destroying of the beard, which means any person that grows a beard, such a person is yeshna bakafa is included in this iser of rounding off the corners, of removing the pace. Whereas Vahani Nashi, when it comes to women, since they are not included in removing the beard. Why? Because a woman does not have a beard, does not grow facially hair in such an area. Therefore, less that is the source that she is not included in the iser of rounding out one's head. Says the Gemara, Uminala, and ten lines down, first one line is by Kafa. Uminala, and from where do we know? To lay Isnayu Bashchasa. Where do we know? Where do we know that a woman is not included in Hashchasa of removing the beard? Iba is Ema Svaru. If you're going to tell me it's logic as we read the Gemara, to Leslie Zakan. Answer number one is logic. Why is she not included in the Isra of destroying her beard? Because she doesn't have a beard, so she's not included in the Isra. Teretz number one. Viva Yisema, Teretz number two. Kra, the Amar Kra says the Taira, Lo Yisa Kifu, Pas Ro Yishechem, Lo Yisa Shchis, Es Pas Zikonecha, Midishani Kra B'Diburei, from the fact that the Pasuk changed the wording, Tim Kain Dechtav Rachmana, Pas ziknechem. Why does the Pasik 
change from Roshechem to Zikanecha. We learn now from there, Zikanecha, your Zakin, your beard, Velo Zakin Ishtecha, and not the beard of your wife. So Teretz number two is we learn it from the Pasuk itself. Not only perhaps is it a Svara, but from the Pasuk itself, why does the Pasuk change the wordage from Roshechem to Ziknecha? Clearly indicating, says the Gemara, that Roshechem, women have corners of the head, but Ziknecha is attained only by the men and not the woman. Says the Gemara of Eloi, is that true? Vatani, we learned in Hebrew, says Zikan Isha, Vasaris, Shalusar, if a woman grows a beard, it has a din of a beard or a saris, has a din of a beard for all halachis. So says the Gemara clearly, what halacha does it mean it has a din of a zaki l'chol divrehim? My love is it's not referring to lashchasa, that if a woman were to have a beard, she is included. Amar abaya lashchasa loimatzis amrit. Why not? The olive, peyas, peyas, the aroin. Because now we have another source that a woman is excluded. We learn now from Xer Shavat to Bnei Aroin. Malahaloin, as we started off, that not becoming Tame, Nasha Beturais. Avkan, Nasha Beturais. Vis, your land, the Chikasiv. Bnei Aroin, Akulen Yanakisiv. If you're going to tell me that Bnei Aroin is going the whole thing, Nishta Kramine, Vitesi, Vikalva Chaim Her. The Kapasik should have been quite a learn from the Kavu Chaim Rana Amina. Uma Koyanim Shirema Kosa Mitzvah Zisayros. We had this type of Kavu Chaim very recently. Koyin has a lot of mitzvahs. And yet, Bnei Aaron v'Lei Bnei Aaron. And yet, the female Koyanim, the Bnei Aaron, are not included in such halachas. Yisrael, like Koyshik, Kol Shikain. So says the Gemara, why do we need this Gzira Shava? This is a tangential question of Pas, Pas, Ibn Aaron. Explains the Gemara, he loved Gzira Shava. If we didn't have the Gzira Shava, you know what I would have thought? Have Amin, I would have thought, Hifzik Ha'inyin. They know the Pasik breaks, and now these halachas would be applicable. Hashtanami says the Gemara, Ibn Aaron, Hifzik Ha'inyin. How do you know not? V'yimusham Gzira Shava. I would have thought we could differentiate. There with regard to shaving with his scissors. I would think you'll cut off with other types of implements that remove hair, a plane, a sharp instrument. That included in the Isser Daraisa is Giluach Sheyesh Ba Hashchasa. These are loaded words that when it comes to shaving, that it completely destroys. And this is the source, the Makar, that what level of shaving is the Isser Daraisa is when it's Hashchasa. When it destroys, when it removes the whole root, when it goes all the way underneath. It doesn't just cut off the top of the hair, it goes all the way underneath. Havi Oymer, and what does that Zetar? That's a razor, and that's the world war, the massive Achleg is up. What is called a tar, which shavers, which razors, etc., etc. So, Imkenechtem Kara, Es Shabbis Zikanecha, my pas Zikanecha, Shemas Mina Tarti. So, that's why we need to have Lamaisa, the Xer Shabbat. But now says the Gemara of the Hall, the Tanya Zakan Isha Vasris, Shalusar, Harein, Kizaki, the Hold of Rehem, Lamai Hilchasa. So now you just told me this is not teaching me the Allah that such a person, a woman that has a beard, is included in these Allah of destroying the beard. So what Allah is he yes included in? Amar Marzotra, Le Tomas Negoyim. It's so included in that if there, the whole intricate halachas of Tomas Negayim, that if a woman would have a nega, saras, on such a place of the hair, there are different halachas if the hair changed colors, etc. Says the Gemara, wait! Tomas Negayim behedik siva. We see that explicitly in the Torah that says, Vesha yishik yan nega baroish oi bezakon. So we see there's an explicit pasik that the woman has a din of a nega on the beard. Why would you need this pasik? Elam remar zucha letaharos negayim. Says Gemara, Tairus de Goyim. Now, me, if she, I came in the past, Tomai, Tairi. What do you mean? If she could become Tomai, certainly she's including the rules of Tairo. Says the Gemara, it's Rech. 
I would have thought that when it comes to the dinam of Toma, of a nega of a woman, let's start, then we could split it up. First, why line Kshiv, Ksiv, Ish, O Isha, Kia, by Nega, Berosh, Oi, Bizaka, and if she has a nega on the face, on the head, or the beard, Hadr, Asyon, Leish, Kamash, Malan, then no, we don't split it up, and there's dinam of Toma and Tyra, both to the Roish and to the Zaka and to these here as, as well. East, and that's how we lemais are answering up. That why do we need this extra pasuk? This extra pasuk is not teaching me that a woman has a din of ashchasa on the beard. That we're learning out from our pasuk, teaching me that there's a din of a nega with regards to becoming tahar on those facial hairs of a woman if she has them. Isi tani, in the second white line, av bal yerkarchu nashim peturis. My time of isi the darish achi. Isi darshins as following. Bonim atam nashem lo kechem says the tire your sons to God loitis kaidu do blasim karcha bin echem. Should it cut your body? You shouldn't rip your clothing. You shouldn't make a mark between your eyes, the maze. Ki am kadosh atal hashem lo kechem because you are a holy nation to Hashem your God. From here we darshin says Isi bonim loy bonois. There's two things going on over here. This karcha and this gedida, two different practices that one could potentially do in a sign of mourning over the dead. So how do you know that only the karcha making a mark on one's skin is that which is allowed by a woman asking Martin Isi? Begin of karcha. Omar Roy is the classical Kasha. The rabbi says that Gedid Eloisi is a Karcha. Very good. You see that one thing is included, one thing is excluded. How do you know which is which? Says the Gemara, four lines from the bottom of Lamed Hayam and Beis. Mar Beni is a Gedid Eloisi is a Karcha. Because Gedid is in a place of the hair. Vishloi bin Makamasar. And without the hair. Moisin is a Karcha. Sheino Ella bin Makam. Sar says the Gemara. Wait, veima banim v'loy bano. He's being the karcha, being the gedida. Maybe it's by both. Chi kasev, and then when the pasuk continued and concluded, ki am kadosh atol Hashem leikacha b'srito hudechsev. Says the Gemara. Kesavar isi srito gedida achasi that they're both the same entity. There is no difference between srito. There is no difference between Gedida. At the top, Rashi, Lamavavah Manalav speaks, speaks out. That's the difference. But Isi holds are both the same thing. I'm making the mark. Just, they're referred to in the Pasuk as two different entities. And we would conclude with a Bayamar Hainu Taimid the Isi. This is what Isi meant. Gamar Karcha Karcha Mibnei Aaron. Mala Halon. Noshe Beturais. Avkan Nafshin Beturais. Women are potter as well, as well over here. From making a mark on their face in a sign of mourning. Now we go full circle. We suggested that maybe the Basak is going back in the whole Indian, says the Gemara. So then the Basak could have been quiet and we could have learned. Yisrael, call again. So says the Gemara. That's how we know the pasuk is not going back on the whole Indian. He loves here Shava have a mean hipsika Indian. Hashinami name a hipsika Indian again. The Gemara repeating, and that's why we need Xerah Shava equating to Bnei Aaron when it comes to Kahanim. Ask the Gemara one second. So Lamaisa, why don't we say that? Why don't we say it? Because of Hifzikinian. Maybe in reality, Hifzikinian. Hashanami name Hifzikinian. We learn that from a different price. Loikarchu, Yachol, Afilu, Karach, Arba, Vachamish, Kuichos, Chayev, Elach. Maybe it's all called one Isser. Tamalaymar, Karchol, Chayev, Akolachas, Vachas. And we'll stop over here. We'll pick it up. Continue with Alachas and making a mark in a sign of mourning, cutting one's body, between one's eyes. Um, and was face, etc. as an Issa to Raisa. I'll pick it up from here the next year. Bisiyato Dishmayo.